Hi, I am Arjun of AudioEase and me and my buddy Aram are here in Belgium today to record the opera halls of the cities of Antwerp and Ghent. Behind me you see the Opera Hall of Ghent. Listen. That is basically what we're coming to get here. And when we finish recording here in this hall and we put the recordings online for download, you can use it in Alteverb to make your audio sound as if it was played back here in this hall. Basically, you can use the Opera Hall of the city of Ghent as your personal echo chamber. Take a look around and listen. The audio you will be hearing throughout this movie are all dry recordings that are played back through Alteverb. And that is indistinguishable from playing it back in the actual room. Traveling to these wonderful spaces. That is what me and my colleagues have been doing since the year 2000. Recording their acoustics. Every month we release new spaces. And that has led to a remarkable collection of acoustics. The Alteverb Library of Acoustics. Now, this particular room behind me, the Opera of Ghent, is 153 years old. But there are rooms in our library that are many centuries older. I'll show you one or two highlights per century. This is the 18th century Royal Opera of Sweden. A century before that, the Haydn Hall in Vienna, where Haydn himself conducted many of his pieces. And the Golgumbas. It took two years of negotiation with Indian authorities before we could get into the largest dome of Asia and an acoustic marvel that has no equal. A place with a world-famous 25-second reverb tale where reflections of even whispers can be counted ten times. And in the 15th century, the Cathedral of Rouen in France can be placed. Then, the late 14th century Waalse Kerk of Amsterdam. Go back another century? Iglesia de San Miguel in Cuenca, Spain. Another century back, the high point of Gothic cathedrals, the Notre Dame of Chartres. From the 11th century, and quite a lot smaller, the Goldstave Church in Oslo, Norway. But by far the oldest room we have is right between the coasts of Italy and Africa, the man-made temple caves on the island of Malta, 2500 years before Christ. Acoustics played a large role in the design of these spaces. Amplification did not exist yet. Singing and praying were meant to sound perfect here. And the architects that built these spaces obviously knew very well what they were doing. I'll shut up now and let you listen to the differences between Audio Ease's five favorite concert halls. <laughs> Thank you. 
As you've heard, all these rooms sound distinctly different, and that is what kept us going from church to church and concert hall to concert hall. But it didn't stop there. We did recording studios as well. Some of them are no longer in business, bankrupt, even torn down. But they live on in the Altiverb Library of Acoustics. Like Sound on Sound in Manhattan. but also Sarm Studios in the UK, the place of Trevor Horn, with its beautiful brick drum room, also no longer available for bookings. Two of the foremost Hollywood orchestral studios did not survive. Todd A.O., a room acoustically so valuable that it actually received an Oscar in 1945. And another legendary film score acoustic from the past is Paramount, Stage M. But luckily most of the studios in Altiverb's library are still places for music. In the Hollywood Hills, Frank Zappa studio, now in use by his son Dweezil. The luscious rooms and echo chambers at Cello Studios, built by acoustic visionary Bill Putnam. The stunning Film Orchestra stages, also headquarters of Germany's World War II propaganda broadcasts. Or the film scoring stages of Fox Studios in LA and in Sydney. German classical studio Teldex and Clinton recording in New York. And if you make sound for picture, you may not have a need for the prettiest concert halls or recording studios. You may need a car interior or a bathroom or even a forest. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Or perhaps here in the Arnhem Gelredome, one of Europe's largest indoor stadiums. Zero, one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Or like here, in the cockpit of a Boeing 747. 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1000, 100, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight. One of the weirdest spaces in Altiverb's library is the inside of the reel of an oil pipe laying ship. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, much like the sampling of real acoustics of real spaces, we have been able to obtain samples of classic reverb gear. I'd surely like to rest, but the energy gets the best of me, and it's been a wild ride. I wouldn't change a minute, I can't slow down inside, guess that's why I live it. I've been this way a long while, I'd surely like to rest, but the energy gets the best of me, and 
I've been this way a long while. I'd surely like to rest, but the energy gets the best of me, and it's been a wild ride. I wouldn't change a minute. I can't slow down inside. Guess that's why. I can't slow down inside. We at AudioEase, we are really proud of what has come to be the largest and highest quality collection of acoustic samples anywhere. And I thank you for taking the time to let me show you some highlights in it. Now, as I said, we release new samples every month, so there's bound to be newer ones at audioease.com IR. If you want to know more about the Altiverb plugin, or maybe on how close Altiverb actually gets to reality, or on how to make your own acoustic samples, just click on one of the videos in the sidebar. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.